how to make GUI 2D models and this works with R6 characters only. So in Studio, open Game Explorer and import your three PNG images. And they have to be PNGs. PNGs hold transparency. JPEGs and anything else don't, so make sure they're PNGs. And I will show you how to do PNGs later in other videos using different programs. I'll use Photoshop, I'll use GIMP, I'll even use Paint. I'll use a few uh, programs to show you how to do PNGs. But for this one, if you've already got your PNGs, let's go for it. So I'm using the little robot that I did in the last video and open the billboard GUI in the morph and then change the image to your idle PNG. So yeah, here I explain that I change my idle later on to a different banana picture, but you can change any picture that you want. You can put them in any particular way that you want. It doesn't really matter. So you can right click the image and get the Roblox asset ID and then you put it in here and you remove all the symbols that are after the equals so that you just have the number only. And do that for the left and the right walk. So you've got idle and you've got walk one and you've got walk two. And then always save your script by applying edits. So now we'll put some sounds in and if you go to the sounds section of the toolbox, you can pick anything that you want. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to pick the banana song because it's just, it's crazy. Okay, so change the maximum distance from 10,000 to about 50 so that the sounds will only play close to you and not over the whole entire game. There's nothing worse than listening to thousands of songs played at 10,000. It will drive you insane. Okay, so you can preview it with the green button and change the sound volume if you want to. So now we'll change the scroll zoom and you need to go to the starter player for this and the camera max zoom distance and change it to a smaller number, 20 or anything like that. So don't forget to save your work because if your internet's anything like mine, it crashes a lot and it helps when you save it. Let's try it out. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it works so well. <laughs> it's almost crazy. <laughs> Alright, so now let's add some really cool effects because this is the really awesome part of it. We can make it huge by going to the billboard GUI and changing the size. Now I'm just going to muck around with the width and the height and show you exactly what you can do to get it like really tweaked, to get it really big or small or however you like. And to raise it up you just need to choose the start offset. Okay, so now we're going to do the really cool fun part. And here, in character, you can add all of the really cool effects. So we're talking about sparkle, smoke, trails, fire, lights, anything. And you can change the colors, you can change the textures, you can do really, really cool things here. Effects drop down menu is found in the model tab. Here, so you can also add them in here as well, which is really cool. You can see everything right there. So you can have a lot of fun with this. 
Alright, let's see what we can do here. I think I'm going to make him like big banana puffy yellow smoke. <laughs> Alright, let's test our crazy banana. Oh wow, that's really cool. So I know a lot of you want to know how to do PNGs and there's a few ways to do it. I know there's a way you can do it in Flip a Clip. You can also do it in Photoshop and GIMP and the full version of Paint and I will show you how to do that. It's not hard and I can teach you how to do that if you want me to. But thanks for watching. Bye!